but not think about feet. That's weird. Welcome back. I'm Sivvy. I'm Parker. I'm Cam, and it's raining. Oh, on the island as well. Woo! Oh, one cranberries is ready. Delicious. More cranberries? Delicious cranberry. Um, num, 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 num. I can go for some cranberry right now. Make some cranberry juice. Like, most people drink it because they got UI stuff, but, like, you know what? I just like it. It's just good. We all have our problems. It's, it's a little tart, which I, I like. I'm just not a fan of the aftertaste. That's fair. Yeah. I have drank a lot of cranberry juice in my time. Ooh. Your fellow berry lover? It kind of depends on the cranberry juice. There's definitely some that, def that don't have like that. The little smoother? Yeah. Yeah, they don't have the same aftertaste. Those ones are okay. Like oh, white yeah. cranberry juice is like that, I think. Doesn't have like the same aftertaste. There's a couple of others. Oh, thanks, Robin. 50 wood. Robin just gave me wood. Woo woo. Thanks, Robin. Woo. Don't you give her wood all the time? I would. She's got a husband. He's got a thick one. He's got a large branch, if you know what I mean. Ooh. It's pushed the window's key. That's how excited I was about his thick branch. Also, we haven't given her anything recently. We haven't had to build anything. made enough money from us at this point. Well, yeah. We've earned a total of six million dollars. Probably like four or five of that is just straight to Robin. Not five. Yeah, I guess because I bought that whistle. That, that thing was two million dollars. Yeah. So about four went to Robin. Three to four, probably. Yeah. And then also all the equipment we had to buy. Or all the, the like wooden stuff we had to get. It hasn't even realistically started and I'm already at half energy. Oof. I'm just trying to get all my cranberries turn into seeds. I guess I'll just eat some pizza. Ooh. I had that yesterday. I'm probably going to have pizza tonight. Yeah. There's no Domino's where I live. It's fucking weird. That is kind of weird. There's like four other pizza places, but Domino's is not one of them, so... How the heck did that happen? That's a good fucking question, I don't know. Closed down after they couldn't find delivery men? Uh, no, they just weren't here to begin with. Yeah, it's usually the Little Caesar's problem. Yeah, that's why we stopped eating the man pizza, because they didn't have any delivery men to actually bring it to us. That was a hell of a pizza, though. Yeah, there's... Uh, let's see. There's like Pizza 73 here, and there's a couple of other pizza places. So there's like a Boston pizza here, and that's why it's really good. There's no... So I think the closest... Uh, isn't Pizza 73 sort of the same... It's not the... It's not this... I don't think it's the same price-wise. Yeah, it's not quite the same. The quality's kind of the same as Boss... Or not Boss Pizza, as uh, Domino's, though. Domino's generally tends to have a drier crust, from my experience. Mm. That was just the more widespread franchise, so it's yeah. probably easier to get a hold of. Pizza 73 struck me as the same sort of niche, but better made. Because they have to be. <laughs> yeah, they're also like more expensive. Because, once again, you can get like a pretty decent pizza at Domino's for like 10 bucks. Like a large pizza. 
which technically puts them at like better value than Little Caesars, but Little Caesars. That's has subjective. That whole thing. Well, I mean, in Little Caesars, you try to get a large pizza of any kind. It's usually more than that. Food value is always really subjective. It's like, did you did you like it? Well, I'm that, more, I'm, that's the last question involved in whether or not you got value. I'm more of like saying like the amount of pizza because like if you really want a better pizza, you, like, you want a good pizza, you don't go to either of those places in my opinion. If you got lots of pizza, that's basically you got cheap pizza. Yeah, that's why I say like your value in terms of like cheap pizza because that's like I feel like that's the. When you're talking the difference between like Domino's and all those other pizza places, it's usually the amount of pizza you're getting rather than like the quality of it. Having worked retail, if I didn't like it, it's not valuable. I think the I think I guess what I'm saying is is that it's like both of the pizzas aren't aren't great and you know that going into it, but yeah. you're mostly just there because it's cheap. Yeah, not yeah, you pick your poison. Like, they're not, not bad the pizzas. They're not bad pizzas, right? Like, it's not Oops. like you're getting a pizza and it's just like, yeah, I don't even want to eat this. It's just like, I know I could get better pizza, but I don't want to pay for better Wee. pizza. I fell nine levels. Shame that we aren't uh, actually go diving in it today. Divvy. I have to try to get the what? last, like, 200 rock, I guess, we need before Civi finally thinks that maybe we should do it. Yeah, we're, we're going to... Just trying to collect enough stairwells. Yeah. I mean, we might actually have enough rock, depending on how much Cam has. I don't have a big collection. Do you have 200? Nope. Some runs aren't like that. So I've just been going into the mines. Yeah, it's kind of best that you split up when you're doing that. Rock hunting, yeah. That's why I've just been trying to keep us propped up with cash. Hops. No. Stop eating the hops. At least stop trying to eat the hops. I haven't had Little Caesars in so long, though. Okay, I could go for $5 pizza. Or like an $8 pizza, or whatever, however much it is nowadays. $900 pizza. Shit, that's... Oh, that's a lot of wine I got going on in here. I remember back, I used to work at Little Caesars when it was $5, and then I remember the day they swapped it up to like 560 People freaked the fuck out? Yeah, and there was people like even a year later after that that were like, it's not $5? Which, you know, that's probably the most... The, the, thing, the thing about working in retail is, and to anyone who's not, who's never worked in retail, when you think you have a really clever line to say to somebody working in retail, you should consider yourself, is this particularly creative? If the answer to that question is a no, don't say it. <laughs> Unless you're the manager. <laughs> Even if you're the manager, you shouldn't say it. No, some people you don't want to come back. Just like, they've heard it probably a million times. Oh, when you're talking to the person in retail. Yeah, yeah that's what I'm saying. Like, Okay, it, yeah, that's different. 
this even even if you think it's it's really creative you should probably not say it because there's probably been at least three or four other people who've already said it to that person and they don't appreciate it because it's really fucking irritating after a while like height jokes poor person is like six foot six foot seven how's the weather up there <laughs> oh this doesn't scan oh so it's free oh i wish i could shoot you out of cannon, straight out of the store. Please just screw Ah, off. chicken cannon, I love it. Like, I used to work at Five Guys, and it, our store wasn't super busy, so there wasn't actually Five Guys there most of the time. The amount of times I've heard, oh, there isn't Five Guys here, it's like, hmm. What if somebody is both, a male and a woman? I mean, there was also times where there would be five people there, and they'd be like, oh, there's not Five Guys And they'll guys have here. a flag, so you know. Okay, thank God. Because I've had that also, where we had, like, a girl working, and it was Unless like, they're legit, then they don't want a flag, because they don't want you to know. It's not your fucking business. Back up. <laughs> That's my... As, as discussed before, that is my personal feeling about that. Mm -hmm. It's... An experience. None of your business. Shut the fuck up. You ain't going to do shit. As they say in the ghetto. I've been listening to a podcast called Hood Politics, which explains hood, or explains politics in, in, as if it were in the hood, because it's the same thing. I'm learning all sorts of words. I'd ask young people what finna meant. He didn't explain what finna meant. Isn't that like find a? It's gonna. It's the gonna find. Kinda yeah. Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna find yourself. X. You're gonna finna yourself X. Yeah. But X isn't gonna give it to you. That's different. But he's gonna give you something else. Yeah. You wait for your own. X is gonna deliver it to you. But not what you want. Well, X is the best Amazon uh, guy. All right. So I have enough. I have enough stone for all the stairs. We don't need 100. We need 99, right? Oh, it's still raining. It feels so miserable. Da, 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 da. 99 stairs. R Rain's not miserable. What are you talking about? What it's you talking miserable. about? Rain's the best. Every day, let's rain. Alright, so tomorrow's the big day then. Tomorrow's the big day. Well, shit. Gao has gone to bed. He's getting yep. his sleep in. He's going to need it. Tomorrow's the big day. Maybe a day after. I assume you're still on the island there, Civi. Nope, I'm on the I'm on the main mainland. Make sure to grab all the stairs for the morning. Ooh, level ten combat. Ooh, Ooh. good time. I definitely don't need critical strikes or deadlier because my crit chance isn't high enough for that matters. And usually things just die if you crit them. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, that's the end for today. I'm Civvy. I'm Parker. I'm Kim. And we'll see you guys next time.